me, devil. I will do whatever it takes. Give you anything you ask. There is only one thing in this world that I desire. You do not have it. And you never will. The Kithrak? What deal would he make with this devil? You must help me, Raphael. For the sake of my people. Hush now, Voss. These guests may not know it yet, but they want the same thing that you do. And unlike you, they have something of value to offer in return. Lazel, Talak Magir. The devil holds the key to freeing the Gith people. Right here, right now. You could seal our fate. Whatever you discuss with this devil, I must hear of it. Find me below in the tap room. Once you're loosed from his claws. I'm glad you came. Not to my door. Not yet. But to the final reckoning. One more thing before we begin, though. For the first time since the Nautiloid, your mind is clear. It's unsettling. I gave you back your privacy by shutting that illithid in your pocket out of your mind. It can't hear us. I brought you here because I'm true to my word, and I can make all of this tadpole business go away, which means you and your lovely friends can remain blessedly free of tentacles. Unless some have already sprouted in places I can't see. Let us speak plain. I'll admit... You've impressed me. I wasn't sure you'd make it this far. But no matter how far you come, you're still on the road to ruin. A road that leads directly to a confrontation with the Elder Brain. At best, it will kill you and everyone else in this city. At worst, it will assimilate you and you won't have enough free will left to even wish you were dead. You have the key to destroying it in the palm of your hand, though. Very perceptive. Yes. I can give you the means to break him free. Speak, devil. We're listening. The Orphic Hammer, an artifact capable of shattering the chains that hold Prince Orpheus, is held securely in my House of Hope, even now. Isn't it just? And it's even more convenient that you can give me exactly what I want in return. Power. You free Orpheus, and in doing so, save the city, the Sword Coast, perhaps the whole world, and your own precious skin, too. And you give me the crown that dominates the Elder Brain. And you, Lazel of Kalir, want to free the Forgotten Prince, do you not? I want nothing more. Then it is settled, is it not? A crown for a hammer. A bow.
bargain of a lifetime, Lazelle of Kilir. I have craved it ever since the Archwizard Casas created it long centuries ago and brought doom to the Empire of Netheril. That was the great age of humanity, and Netheril's flying sky cities were the apex of civilization. I was there the day it all fell apart. Entire cities plummeted from the sky like angels with broken wings. The screams, oh, the screams. Hundreds of thousands of people watching in horror as the ground came up to meet them. <laughs> it was not a happy meeting. And Cassus was responsible. Not driven by malice, but by ambition. He forged a crown imbued with all the powers of magic. A crown that would make any who wore it a god. Men cannot contain so much power. The crown destroyed its creator, and his empire fell with him. Cassus's folly, the bards and scholars call it. I call it hope. The hope of creating a better world and the perils of unchecked hubris. I knew then that the folly of mortals could be the triumph of devils, and that I could use that crown to unite the Nine under one Archdevil Supreme, me. The Hells require order to function. It is what separates us from mortals and demons. With the crown, I would impose perfect order, unity, efficiency, control. My kingdom would control its borders and stay within them. It was stolen from right under my nose all those centuries ago. The archdevil Mephistopheles snatched up the crown and squirreled it away in one of his vaults. He is not more than a frigid archivist. So much power and potential kept inert. He made a miracle into a museum piece. I raged. But only for a decade or so. Then I waited, ever watching for more than a thousand years, for a mistake, a mishap, a misadventure. And these chosen, who have caused you so much trouble accidentally, did me a favor. They brought the crown back into play. Yes, it does. Especially when I see what a bloody mess they've made of their whole scheme. They must have raided Mephistopheles' vault. Impressive, I must admit. But they'll be dead soon. If you don't kill them, the Elder Brain will. It doesn't have feelings in the way you'd understand them. <laughs> but it seems rather angry. It is inevitable. When you destroy the brain, and you will, because you must, the crown will be yours for the taking. And when that moment comes, you give the crown to me. In exchange, I give you the hammer now. A simple transaction, it seems, but it's more than that. He's offering you an alternative to the mind flare in your head. Take Raphael's deal and you could free Orpheus. With Orpheus free, you would have no need to rely on the Emperor. But there's no guarantee that Orpheus would be on your side. And if you take the deal, you'll have to fulfill it. You'll have to deliver the crown of Carsus to the devil himself. 
He claims his ambition is to unite the Hells, but can he be trusted to stop there? Do you trust him more than you trust the Emperor? Skvar! We should do as the Devil asks. The Prince of the Comet must rise again. Right here. You'll find everything is in order. The moment I have your signature, you will have the means to free Orpheus. The Hammer. You guarantee the crown will be mine once the brain is defeated, and I swear that I will never use the crown to dominate a mortal. Perfect. One more rhyme, for old time's sake. The master was slain within his own house. They dined on him both, the cat and the mouse. The hammer is yours. You will find yourself in Orpheus's presence before the end comes. When you do, shatter the chains that hold him. Be sure to keep the hammer safe. Until then, your survival depends on it. And I'll keep your contract safe in my house of hope. I'll be seeing you, and when I do, we dine. The ink has barely dried, yet you feel a growing disquiet at what exactly you just signed. Perhaps a Diabolus can offer some comfort, or a way out. For a devil's bargain is a hard one to break. I'd sooner have imagined shattering a planet with my bare fist than taking a deal with a devil. But we shouldn't regret the bargain, not for one instant. Raphael can have his crown, if it means breaking Prince Orpheus free. The prince will be suspicious, but he won't be reckless enough to turn on his liberators. There'd be too little to gain from our deaths, and too much to lose. Now, to the Charesse's Caress tap room. We must tell Voss the news. There you are. I thought I'd lost you. Something was blocking me from hearing your thoughts. Me too. It's concerning. Something could come between us like that. Especially when we are so close to the Elder Brain. Do you have any idea what it was? didn't feel him. Then perhaps my protection. But I was sure. Never mind. We must press on. I will bolster your mental defenses and make sure this doesn't happen again. Voss, friend to the Comet. Lazel of Kalir, warrior of warriors. Tell me you took the Devil's deal. Tell me you will free Gith's heir. The hammer? How can it be that you came to possess it? Was it Raphael? The Prince of the Comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from the Lich Queen's tyranny. Can it be? Will the mighty Prince Orpheus soon illuminate the astral plane? Gith's son will soon ride against Vlakith, Voss. And I will follow him into battle. 
And you will wield the greatest gift Mother Gith ever granted her dauntless children. A silver sword. I will carry it for the honor of Gith, the great liberator, and her unforgotten son. Istik, now that you have the hammer, you must find a way to enter the astral prism. Once inside, smash Orpheus's bonds. His cry will shake the plains, and I will fly to your aid. The prince of the comet will sear the heavens again. Let the Lich Queen tremble! Think again. I will not permit your entry. No, I do not. Questions, Istik? You seem to be lost in thought. Yes, but you will meet this challenge, as you've met so many others. The Prince of the Comet aches for Githyanki liberation more than he abhors Geich. He might seethe when you free him. He might gnash his teeth and slander your name. But he will see reason, I promise you. Since I was old enough to hold a blade, I've dreamt of wielding a silver sword. The swords cleave both meat and mind, body and brain. To swing one, mesmerizing. To be slain by one, agonizing. Everyone I bleed with a sword will be my tribute to Prince Orpheus. You recall another fact about silver swords. The Githyanki forbid their use by all other peoples. Only Gith's children may wield swords of silver, unless a Githyanki grants the right in exceptional circumstance. The Illithid Grand Design nears. The true heir is shackled. These are exceptional circumstances. I grant my allies the right to my silver.